Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to silverbulletin.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. All right, the Silver Bulletin has results for the seven swing slash battleground states. I'm your highly illustrious, ever perfect President Ross with a sore throat, can barely talk. So if you're not subscribed, like my wife said, hit that subscribe button right now and tell us in detail in the comments who you want to win the election and why. Let's fill in that beautiful map according to the silverbulletin.com. We have the blue states for Kamala Harris, Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, Minnesota, parts of Nebraska, Illinois, uh, Virginia, New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, D.C., and parts of Maine and the like are blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Coming up next are the red states for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance Hobilly Eulogy. Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, most of Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and parts of Maine are red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans for the 2024 election. Left over are Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia. These results are according to the Silver Bulletin polling, which my beautiful wife stated. The Silver Bulletin bowling. Oh, Silver Bullet. I can't talk. My throat's killing me. Sorry, gentlemen and ladies. So we're going to Nevada, according to the Silver Bulletin. Nevada has them tied at 47.9% for both candidates. Nevada will not be colored in. Arizona, according to the Silver Bulletin, has Trump 49.4% to Harris's 47.7%, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump and his 2% lead. We have, up next, is Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes. According to the Silver Bulletin, Wisconsin has Harris at 48.5% to Trump's 48%. That is a 0.5 lead for Kamala Harris, making Wisconsin blue for Kamala Harris. That gives her 236 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 230. Michigan, according to the Silver Bulletin, Michigan has Harris at 48.1% to Trump's 47.4% giving Harris, Michigan, making it blue for Kamala Harris. Georgia, we have Georgia with 16 electoral votes. Bottom right, Trump has a 49% lead in Georgia to Harris's 47.6, making Georgia red for Donald J. Trump. That has Kamala Harris 251 to uh, Donald J. Trump's 246 electoral votes. North Carolina, according to the Silver Bulletin, Trump has a 48. 9% to Harris's 47.6%, giving him North Carolina. That puts Donald J. Trump red. He is in the lead at 262 to Kamala Harris's 251. And then, as we've been saying for two months, nobody else has said this except for us. Pennsylvania will be the deciding state in the 2024 election. Whoever wins Pennsylvania will win the 2024 election. If you're not subscribed right now, hit that subscribe button and we'll tell you the results. Five, four, Three, two, one. According to the silverbulletin.com, Trump has 48.3% to Kamala Harris's 48% in Pennsylvania, giving him a tight lead in the victory to Pennsylvania. That gives Trump red to Pennsylvania. That gives Trump 281 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 251. Now, if she won Nevada, we don't need to color in. If she won Nevada, she would have 257. We did polls earlier that had Harris win the 2024 election. How do these results make you feel according to the silverbulletin.com? Let us know in the comments. Hit that subscribe button, like, and share. I'm your highly perfected with a sore throat, President Ross. I apologize to all of you viewers and subscribers for any mess ups I made because of my throat being sore. And she is. Bags. And we. Are out.